What are the best nitrogen fixing plants for your garden? Today we're going to have a look. G'day there, I'm Dana from Piwakaka Valley Homestead. Today we're going to look at the best nitrogen fixing plants for your vegetable garden or food forest. This year, um, growing my vegetable garden, I discovered the real importance of having a decent amount of nitrogen in your soil. We filled our garden beds mostly with compost that we had bought and um, unfortunately it wasn't as decomposed as we'd hoped and it was a wood um, based compost that also had animal manure in it and the amount of wood that was still left in it was sucking the nitrogen out of the soil and the plants were really starving. To fix this I ended up making a batch with some chicken poop in some water and watering my plants quite regularly with that for a few weeks and that certainly helped and suddenly my plants were growing again which is a really good um, solution if that's the problem you've got but actually a long term better solution for increasing the nitrogen in your soil is actually to have some good plants that are adding it in for you. What's the big deal with having nitrogen in your soil? Well um, having a good amount of nitrogen it increases the amount of different nutrients that are available for the plant. Obviously the plants to grow leafy greens need nitrogen as well but if your soil has a good amount of nitrogen in it it also increases the diversity of different um, microbiota and things that are living in the soil it increases the productivity of your garden and it also increases the availability of other uh, nutrients like phosphorus and other things like calcium having a good amount of nitrogen in your soil also increases its ability to retain other no nutrients that you're adding to the soil as well so all round, having plenty of nitrogen there is actually a really good thing. There's four main ways of adding nitrogen to your soil. One of them being adding well rotted compost. Another one being adding animal manures. You can also add nitrogen by adding a green, what's called a green manure crop, which is a plant that you grow that fixes nitrogen into the soil or not. And then you cut the tops down, you dig the greens into the soil and the greens add the nitrogen as well. Here comes our snorty dog. Hopefully it goes away. Coffee grinds are also really high in nitrogen despite them being brown. They're actually considered a green in composting so you can add coffee grounds to your soil as well and that's a good way. But for the long term one of the best options is to plant plants that will fix nitrogen for you. Plants that fix nitrogen in your soil don't do it by themselves. They actually do it in a symbiotic relationship with some different types of bacteria. The most common type of bacteria is called a rhizobium, I think is how you say it, I don't know. They help add nitrogen rhizomes to the roots of the different plants, I'll show you some. We also have this weed that's growing everywhere in the food forest and it's a legume, I think it's called birdfoot trefoil. Birdfoot because of these seed heads. <sighs> And it's a legume of some description and it fixes nitrogen for us. Now I'm not sure if you can see this, but just down here, right on those roots there, are those tiny little nodules. They're the wee rhizomes that the nitrogen gets stored in. That's on this weed that grows everywhere in our food forest. There's two other different types of bacteria, one called a Frankia and one called a Cyobacterium and they can also work with some plants to help fix nitrogen. Now the most common type of plant that you would use to fix nitrogen in your soil are of course the legumes and legumes come in a wide range of different types of plants. The other plants that do fix nitrogen, they don't, every plant in that family doesn't necessarily fix it so with legumes they all do and with some of the other plants that I'll mention later they don't necessarily all do in that same family but some specific ones will work well with particular bacteria to fix the nitrogen for you. Now when you're growing plants to fix nitrogen in your soil there's two different ways they can do it. The first way is it will just naturally increase the amount of nitrogen available within the soil. It's not a particularly high amount that will add the best way of getting the most um, is to actually do what they call chop and drop because when you cut the tops off some of the roots will die off and that's when they release the extra nitrogen. Now some 
trees will just naturally just slowly accumulate extra nitrogen in the soil around the roots but the same thing applies if you want a decent flush of nitrogen from them you're going to have to trim them back quite a lot to get that root die off to get that nitrogen to release the other thing is leaves in general green leaves have nitrogen in them so when you do cut them and leave those leaves either on the ground or lightly dig them into that very top layer of soil that will also add some nitrogen to the soil as well so these trees in particular that you use a lot of them will grow quite quickly and you can use them to chop and drop them especially if you're talking about doing it in a food forest sort of area so you're getting the benefits of adding the nitrogen from their leaves as well as the benefits of killing off their roots to let them release that nitrogen that's stored in those nodules. In your vegetable garden the most commonly used nitrogen fixing cover crops are things like vetch, peas, beans, um, sometimes alfalfa, we know that as lucerne here in New Zealand. They will fix nitrogen very quickly on the roots, they grow really fast and then usually you grow them It's the dog snuffling. Uh, you grow them really quickly and then you chop and drop them and dig them into that top layer of soil so you're getting the nitrogen from the leaves the green material as well as the nitrogen that they have fixed on the roots which they will then release the trick with cover crops is to dig them in um, just as they first start to flower because seeds have really high levels of nitrogen in them your body uh, your body your plants will store nitrogen in the seeds so that when the seeds start to germinate they have that extra boost of nitrogen to get them going so if you want the nit most amount of nitrogen from your cover crops dig them in as soon as they start flowering once they start making seed uh, the amount of nitrogen benefit you'll get will start dim diminishing quite quickly now I'm going to go through some common plants that you can use for fixing nitrogen in your own garden I've also put a, a link in the description down below that'll go to the blog post where there's actually a PDF that you can download now for trees uh, nitrogen fixing trees these are probably most beneficial in areas like food forests where you're looking to feed some nitrogen to your fruit trees as they're growing acacia Autumn olive, Russian olive, uh, black locust, honey locust and tagasast are probably the most common uh, nitrogen fixing trees that you can use. This is a tagasast tree that we've got growing. When it comes to shrubs I personally have got some sea buckthorn. This is our sea buckthorn, we've got a few of these. They produce a really tart orange berry. These stalky remnants with the beans still on them. These are tick beans that we've grown up in the food forest area. Partly as a green crop and partly to harvest the seeds so that we can use them as a green manure crop in the next season. We're lucky here, clover just grows absolutely everywhere. If you just leave it to leave it be, it'll just grow. I've also got a Californian lilac. Plants like um, honeybush, rooibos, licorice are all nitrogen fixers as well. They're not legumes but they do all fix nitrogen themselves. Wisteria is another one, especially if you're looking for a vining option, wisteria will fix nitrogen for you. If you've got plants that are in desperate need of some nitrogen, I think the best way to do that is to make some in your tea. Personally we just use fresh chicken poo, it's really really high in nitrogen, you can't apply fresh chicken poo directly to your plants, you'll burn them because of the amount of nitrogen that's in them. However if you dilute it in a big bucket of water and then use that to water your plants once or twice a week for a few weeks you'll find that the greenness will come back to the leaves and they'll take off and start growing again. If you found this video useful please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel where we bring you videos twice a week on growing and preserving your own food and other bits and pieces around the homestead. We'll see you in the next one.